Hi guys, this video is like a blog. It won't be edited. It's been filmed with my phone, so the quality is probably going to be the same. What I will do today is I will update you about these orchids. These are some of the orchids that I have here in my bedroom. Why I'm showing you these plants, especially my Phalaenopsis here, they are so beautiful, so gorgeous, so we can talk a little bit about them. I'm sorry about the cables on my growing lights, I've never managed to fix them, so it's a little bit messy, but I hope you'll don't mind. The reason why I'm filming this with my phone today, it's because there are people here fixing the windows in my living room. That's a huge mess at the moment. Everything is dusty, all my plants are covering in dust. I had to remove all of them from my window seals. I cannot film in my living room until they finish their work. That's going to happen, I think, tomorrow. So I wouldn't be able to do anything for you this week if it wasn't these plants in my living room, in my living room, my bedroom. And I cannot report any of my plants and show you anything specifically. So I decide why not. I'm going to show you my collection in my living room. It's been a while since I've done that last time. And update you on the plants in here and let you know what is happening with them. Hope you enjoy it. If you do, please hit the like button, leave a comment down below. And let's start this vlog, shall we? Just as a curiosity about me, I love handmade things. Uh, this is a macrame hanger that my mother-in-law created for me. So that's something that I bring since my childhood. When I was growing up, I always had people around me that were able to do artistic stuff with their own hands. I love to have things that were made by someone that I love and that created something. So I am full of this handmade stuff around my house. So that's a macrame hanger in my bedroom. But we're not here about to talk about that. We are here to talk about plants. So let's start. So the only phalaenopsis that I have on my top shelf, actually I have two, I have these and the yellow one, but the yellow one has no blooms at the moment. So this is one of the last phalaenopsis to bloom in my living room. I think it was the last one actually to open its flowers. So as you can see, it is a common hybrid, very, very common hybrid. It is beautiful. It's one of the phalaenopsis that I saved many years ago. And I didn't know their IDs. Lucky for me, they were all different from one another. Sorry about the leaf here. It's my huge zygopathulum. I have only one flower spike this time, but it's growing healthily, as you can see. And here, something very nice I want to show you. That's the catacetan that I report with you all. Remember that I told you that it was growing non-stop, but... <laughs> It didn't produce any flower spike and I don't think it will because I can see that the flowers, uh, the flowers, the leaves are starting to become yellowing and when the leaf tip starts to become brownish to yellow, it means that probably it will lose all of its leaves soon and it will become a bear cane, who knows. So that's the catacetan, but there is no flower spike whatsoever. But it's, it grows very, very well. As you can see, that's the oldest bulb and that's the new one. And it's much larger and plumper than the older one. So the plant is healthy, but didn't bloom. So that is the two plants that I want to show you up here. I hope I don't shake too much. My hands can be quite unstable sometimes. But here is where most of my Phalaenopsis sit. And the perks about being a mother, I have a bobby or... LOL, I don't know, show here with my plants. It happens. The plants here, they are doing pretty well. I managed to clean up their thrips. How I managed to clean up their thrips? I did that <laughs> by spraying pesticides on them. So I bought one of these pesticides for indoor plants and it was really good. It basically killed all of my, all of the pests on my plants. However, that was maybe in September last year. However, I did spot some thrips growing here in some of my youngest plants because I had to bring some of them to the living room. And you know how thrips are? It's like that. One second they are here, the other second they are here as well. Let me try to place that somewhere where I can be in front of the camera with you. So what I have here is some of my Phalaenopsis, most of them, the most special ones, they are here. I hope you can see. So that's my Schilleriana and 
it's full of dust oh my gosh i have to clean these leaves it happens sometimes so i cut its flower spike maybe three weeks ago it's growing super healthily look at the size of this leaf it's amazing but for me one of the most the healthiest planting here is my beautiful Phalaenopsis bellina i hope you can see it properly look at the size of these leaves honestly look at the leaves are like the size of, of my palm and they are growing more and more each year and i'm so proud of that i hope you're able to see everything from there how gorgeous and beautiful these leaves are i have a new flower spike coming here and if i grab the pot look at that honestly look how many roots this is a new pot it was potted in a very small pot and i un unpot and repot it I, and i place it inside this massive pot it's doing super well <laughs> what else i have in here to show you i'm doing a bit of a mess so this one i got from oh it has the wrong tag that's not the dendrobia nanosmos course with permishai this one i got on orchid garden I don't remember the name of place in the tag, but it was a tiny orchid back then. And now, look at this. It's growing super healthily, full of roots as well. So I'm, I'm happy, very, very happy. I had, that's a tip that I'll give to you. They, the roots were growing only on the surface of the pot. So I need to help these roots. So basically I inserted some of them inside the pot because I wanted to grab the humidity that the medium was offering and so far so good they're growing towards now the bottom of the pot that was my intention first of all since these are epiphyte plants so anyway that's that do have some plants that are recovering there i don't need to show you them i've already done that uh i have lots of cakey so this one which was blooming um in the last what's blooming for me in january and december i showed you this one but i noticed the roots were not so healthy that's why if you, i hope you can see from there can you see that the leaves are smaller much smaller than this one it's because the plant was stressed so that's why i cut the flower spike you start the flower spike started to branch out and like produce more buds so i said no 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 it's enough so i cut the flower spike um what else i have in here oh Talking about Catacetan, that's my sick note, Wine Delight. So it was very stressed. I think I recorded a short where I cut all of the canes and pieces to try to encourage it to push out any growth. So it did happen. So this one, I cut the base of it and some part on top of it produced a completely new growth that didn't bloom again i think the problem is lighting probably i didn't have the burinas last year don't think the light was enough but what happened to this plant is that it produced a new growth even when i still had it eat inside this pot it didn't have to wait for it to become completely uh without its leaves much longer before that it push out this completely new growth so far so good it's growing healthily I think the growing light is helping. I don't know if I have other things that are very interesting here that I can show you. I don't want to show you everything. I want to show you the disasters does happen. So this one, I was trying to save it. So we do have now completely rotten Phalaenopsis that's completely gone. So I just throw it away. Every time when I water my plant, sometimes I discover plant that has some issues and others that don't have any issues. So I think that's an interesting thing. This one is a tetraspis of some sort. What I'm done with these tags? I don't know where the tag is. I don't know if the tag is inside or if I lost its tag. Sometimes I lose the tags of some of my plants. So anyway, so that's a tetraspis. Hmm, I think it's a pyloric tetraspis, I think. Something is like, it has lots of roots. It's growing the new leaves. I put it up last year. But it push out a cakey, so we have a cake in here. And what else I have inside here? And I have other things growing that I don't think are flower spikes. I don't know if you can see from the distance. Uh, I don't know if I've come closer to you. I have no idea if you're able to see that there is something growing here. 
I could count, usually Philanopsia will push out flower spikes if you count one, two leaves below. And then if you have something growing, probably it's a flower spike. I have no idea. I've never had a Tetraspis before. What I know is, although it push out cakes, sometimes we become worried. Oh my gosh, if it's producing cakes, maybe the plant's not healthy. That's not the case because this plant is so healthy. So, so far, so good. So I do have a Tetraspis. This one is the cakey that uh, I snapped from the mother plant the other day in front of the camera. And look at that! I hope you can see! I just spotted this cake and the roots are growing so, so large and big, which is amazing. I can see them from, from uh, the pot. But the mother plant, remember that I thought the mother plant was gone and uh, I decided to place it inside the glass container that it was before something very interesting happened to this plant i don't know if it has any roots in here or not but the plant has not given up on its life so the root was for me it pushed out a new leaf although it has no root whatsoever not seeing root but it did push out a new leaf so it's trying to survive hopefully to push the root and the last that I want to show you, this one is that Terrestrial Philanopsis. Da, 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 da. Doesn't look very good as you can see. What's the name of this plant? I forgot now. I will place it on, uh, on the screen if I can. I don't know. It was never healthy for me. And there is this kind of stuff that it keeps push pushing roots all up, never inside the media. And I've reported this plant many times. I've never figured out what happens to this Philanopsis. So is there, it's hanging there, but I'm not going to do anything to it. This one, just to show you, it's the flowers are starting to fade. I do have something branching out from here. I could let it rebloom, but I'm not going to do it. It's a very small Philanopsis. These Philanopsis are not the healthiest ones. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to snip this flower spike out soon to leave my plant to grow and it's produce new leaves and new roots. That's more important for me than having it blooming all the time so okay so that's for the things that i want to show you on this shelving i have some dendrobians i have other things growing here i need to put all of this back you usually do remember when where you keep your phalaenopsis and your orchids i tend to remember everywhere where i place them uh, i have this crazy logic in my mind where each of these plants, where they belong, so this will not be here for them to work. Um, sometimes I change a little bit, but I like to keep them on their place for any reason that's not logical. So yeah, the Belina is always up front. Uh, I always kept it the first spot in my living room. Very, very, I don't know why, I like that, that way. So now, I hope, I don't know if you can see everything, so I will definitely grab this. Can you see that? How gorgeous that? This one is the time, the shine, shine girl, something shine girl or sun, yeah, anyway. I found this hybrid in a supermarket here locally in the UK, maybe two years ago, I think. So last year, because of the thrips, uh, it lost its crown and pushed out a cakey. And that's the cake one year later. It's blooming already. It's very small. It won't produce a ton of flowers because it's just a baby. And I've also reported that on camera. It's full of roots, as you can see. But I will leave it to grow more inside this tiny pot because that's a large phalaenopsis. So it's very far from what it should be. That's my beautiful cakey. This one is blooming for three months. Just to let you know that Phalaenopsis, they can do that. They can bloom and bloom for a long, long time. But again, that's the next one that I will snip the flower spike out because it's enough. And I know that this plant has to focus its energy in producing, grow this tiny new leaf that's growing now, producing new roots. I want it to, to be a very healthy Phalaenopsis to have more blooms next year. So that's one of them. Here is the Philanopsis that we report together like two weeks ago, I think. Let's see what we have in here. Yeah, I do have live roots. The roots are live inside the pot. And there is a tiny new leaf coming from this one. This one is the 
uh, Diablo Blueberry Frost with Violetia Indigo. So it is coming. The bad news is uh, this guy here. This is my dendrobium hippie key that I also report in front of the camera. What are happening is the cakes are still alive inside the pot. However, it has thrips. That's where I noticed the thrips were because it has blemish on its leaves. It's, they are full of marks. I will come very close to the camera, but I don't know if you'll be able to see. Anyway, so that what happened to my hibiki, it had thrips. I do have some sticks, like best side sticks. I will place inside the plants here in the living room as well. I haven't done it because each, the, all the plants here were clear and I just noticed that the thrips found its way back here. So I will place the best side sticks and hope for the best. Uh, now comes the, the cute thing, but this one is Jazzy Tag. <laughs> Phalaenopsis Christina Magro sugar plant. The Christine Magro is a cross between two Phalaenopsis and one of them is the Phalaenopsis Javanica. It has a very strange smell. The fragrance is like a dusty, grassy fragrance. Not, nothing special or nothing good, but at least you cannot feel from the distance. But the flowers, they are tiny, but they are very, very cute when you look up close. Very cute. The pattern. Anyway, petals and sepals. Beautiful, beautiful little, little Phalaenopsis. I'm so happy. That's a haul that I've done last year when I said that I was very sad that something happened to me at work. So I bought these plants, so they're all blooming now. So that's one of them. But what I want to show you is... I also have the Javanica. The Javanica bought in another haul I think years ago and I never realized that basically I have some mother and daughter I mean this is one of the parents of that one but the flowers are very similar I don't know if I were able to show you let me try to come closer can you see that that's the javanica I for any reason the flower didn't open completely so and the flower spikes shorter then the hybrid but it's very similar let me show you the hybrid so i don't have to show you any picture later look at that it's cute isn't it they are very very similar i didn't know that so this one i've seen some other orchids channel recently as well um yeah it's not exactly this one is phalaenopsis minstrela it's a beautiful hybrid the flowers are gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. They are, I don't know, waxy with a yellow center. It's beautiful, beautiful. It's one of the most beautiful Phalaenopsis I've seen recently. And I'm glad it's producing a ton of other flower spikes, not full of flowers yet. So that's my Phalaenopsis Minstrela that I also bought on that haul last year. This is the three cakes that I put together. Oh gosh, just drop some water on top of my Phalaenopsis. All good, I will clean them afterwards. Amazing. Anyway, so I put these three cakes together at uh, some point last year. They were all stuck on the flower spike, the flower spike of the mother plant push out three cakes and I decided to do a community potting with them. They are doing super well, guys. They are growing, they produce, push out so many roots. The pot's a little bit cramped, but I think they are, it's happy. It's a very happy cakey. It's doing what it has to do. And more than that, what I have in here is other Phalaenopsis. They are growing and recovering. Uh, I just dropped lots of ton of water on top of them. I have to <laughs> dry up the leaves uh, and that's, Almost everything that's happening here. So, Phalaenopsis that I just cut the flower spike. That's a Paphiopedalum that produces like a very dark flowers. That's a variety of the Delenatii that I hope it's fragrant because my Delenatii it's not fragrant. And then I have other Phalaenopsis there. That's the fall German Vicent cold with Dragon Tree Eagle, I think. 
that's my pen and girl that I've already showed you in bloom and it has lots of flower spikes so it will bloom soon this one is not doing very well I need to add this stick the pesticide stick to it because I think it's affecting it I don't know thrips can be complicated that's one I arranges macro macro something that it's here I have tiny tiny dendrobians that I almost lost so I have only this tiny KK. so this one is the Sanuk pull of fire this one is the one that I didn't know that was in my leaf my, that I was trying to make it bloom but it didn't happen um, I don't know exactly the tag of this one because I think it came with the wrong tag and that's the situation that I have here these are all my plants in my living room can you see that look look how beautiful my Belina is it's beautiful it's a gorgeous and it becomes a massive plant I never expected it to be so large imagine in a couple of years it's gonna be large 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 and that's it that's what I want to show you today I hope you enjoyed this video if you did look at this beauty Hit the like button, leave a comment down below, and I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye!